Ninth Council Matic District takes in Mount Airy, West Oak Lane, East Oak Lane, Olney, um, Lawncrest, Lawndale, and a little bit of Oxford Circle. It's uh, about 158,000 uh, residents and it's quite diverse and a great place to live. I think it's important for um, the uh, leadership to know what's happening in the neighborhoods. Uh, when I read the uh, daily paper or some publications, I just got the sense that everybody thought Philadelphia was just downtown. And we've done some wonderful work in this community through our economic development efforts. And we have a lot of growth here and stabilization. And I thought it was important to uh, ask the chamber. Bob Wonderling has been very cooperative and very helpful. And uh, he was willing to engage this dialogue about uh, neighborhood activity and development. So he, was, he took to the um, uh, idea quickly, and I was very pleased with that. We've been working with Wadsworth for many years. I came into office in 1988. First thing I did was put new sidewalks in um, Wadsworth Avenue. And then through with Ed Rendell, who was the mayor in 1991, we were able to get some stimulus dollars to uh, change the signage. We had a lot of the buildings had old signage, uh, get some new signage, working with the business people on Wadsworth Avenue. Uh, we cleaned up a, a, a back driveway where so our customers could park in the back of the stores and not clog up Wadsworth Avenue. And then we tried to stimulate new businesses to come on Wadsworth Avenue, form the business association. It was a little tough, you know, but we worked closely to get that done. Um, we would like to have more diversity in terms of the stores, the kind of businesses on Wadsworth. But with the challenge and the competition from the mall, sometimes it's a little difficult. But it's clean, the merchants are doing well, and we have a variety of businesses up there. So that was my first venture in the whole issue of economic development, neighborhood development. Oh, that's a fabulous school, a former supermarket. And the West Oak Lane uh, uh, community, was with the, under the leadership of Dwight Evans, transformed that school into what it is. It's uh, very, very, um, it looks good. And they've expanded and they've taken the whole block because there were some businesses on Stenton Avenue that they acquired. And uh, certainly the students are doing well. They're making AYP and uh, we are real proud of that school. Fifth Street is, uh, uh, was a, a real challenge for me, uh, being a new council person and having to address some of the issues on Fifth Street. Certainly it is a diverse uh, business uh, corridor with many uh, different nationalities doing businesses over there. Sometimes we ran into language barriers and cultural, um, uh, cultural uh, uh, issues, but uh, we've worked, tried to work with the leadership on uh, Fifth Street. Uh, and of course it's changed during the years, but we have a young man over there now who is going to work with the businesses. And Dr. Yu, has been very, very instrumental in the Fifth Street business corridor. He has maintained the staff person to work with the businesses over there. So we appreciate his leadership. He's been over there for many, many years, long before I became council person. Now, I just love Haines Street. Ork took those houses on Haines Street between Stenton and Anderson, were really uh, eyesores. And with the help of State Representative Dwight Evans, they were able to uh, revitalize uh, and rehab those properties so they look really great. Certainly the, uh, Dwight worked very closely with Martin Luther King High School to change the landscape of Martin Luther King and there's a vacant lot at Mansfield and Stenton Avenue that we had our one of my constituents who maintained for, for years. She passed away but uh, we were um, able to get some of the students from Martin Luther King to take on that lot to maintain it. So it's a challenge because the uh, shrubbery grows pretty quickly. <laughs>